Okay, so time for part two. What is the concentration of a 0.17 molar solution of glycerol in grams per liter? So you can write grams per liter as grams divided by liters or grams multiplied by liters to the power of minus one. It's the same thing, grams per liter. And then also express this as a percentage mass per volume. Well, let's tackle the first part. What do we know? We know it's a 0.17 molar solution. So we know that 0.17 Molar means 0.17 moles per liter. So if we want to turn moles into grams, well then we have to multiply it by its molar mass. And we already calculated out our molar mass. So multiply that by, if we go back to the earlier question, 92.0932 grams per mole. And we can see now that moles and per moles are going to cancel out and we're going to be left with grams per litre. Well, if we put that into the calculator, it will be 15.66 grams per litre. Problem solved. So all you have to do to go from moles per litre to grams per litre is multiply by the molar mass. And if you're not convinced of that or if you forget if it's multiply or divide, just check the units and the units, if the units do what they're supposed to do, then chances are you're going down the right path. So moles divided by moles is one, which leaves you with grams per liter. Okay, that's the first part. The second part then is also express this as a mass percent volume. Well, another way of saying mass percent uh, per volume is saying grams per 100 milliliters. So we have grams per liter. So to turn that into grams per 100 milliliters, well, there are 100 milliliters is 0.1 or one tenth of a liter. So all we need to do is divide it by 10. So it's equal to 15.66 divided by 10 uh, percentage mass per volume, or 1.566%. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, post them on the form, or post them below, or ask in the lab. That's all.